When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you won't have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got to, somebody came to my office the other day, cry. I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using on the sale. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good and mighty because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead, lead, lead yourself and your team and the people in your life. Lead them all to victory. You can be lying to yourself by saying, I'm really happy. That can be a lie. It can be a lie. Hey. You know what, I'm really happy right now. And there's a chance you are, right? There's a chance. There's a chance that you really are truly happy. I got a good job. I got a good family. I got a house. I'm in pretty good shape. There's a chance that you're truly ha happy in that situation. And if that's the scenario, good. You know what? Don't worry about getting more discipline. You're, you're happy. You're content. You got a good job. You got a good family. You got a house. You got a car. Everything's good. That's cool. That's fine, but there's a chance that that's not fine. There's a chance that you're lying to yourself. You can't find more discipline. You want more discipline. Why do you want that? Because you know you could be better. And there's something in your mind that's saying you could be better and you know it. And you know that the way you could get better and the way you could do better and the way you could be more is by having more discipline. So, don't lie to yourself. Discipline is rooted in the truth we tell ourselves. Because if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth, and the truth is, I'm not happy with where I'm at. That's the truth. The truth is, I can do more. The truth is, I can be in better shape. The truth is, I can work harder than I'm working right now. The truth is, I can do more for my family. The truth is, I can do much better than I'm doing right now. And if that's the real truth, if that's what you believe, if you believe that to be the truth, you won't have to find more discipline. Discipline will find you. It will wake you up in the morning when you're going through life and you truly feel like you could do better and you could do more and you truly feel that when you think about that, 
you are here to have a hard time sleeping. If you don't think you are disciplined, it's because you haven't decided to be disciplined yet. It's because you haven't created it yet. It's because you haven't become disciplined yet. Because you haven't told yourself the truth. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. You talk about that you were kind of, you know, lonely by yourself. I was the same way. And that used to hurt me growing up. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. Motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self when you're least motivated.